I have not failed. I've just found ten zero 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 ways that won't work. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. If we all did the things we are really capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. When you have exhausted all possibilities, Remember this, you haven't. Nonviolence leads to the highest ethics, which is the goal of all evolution. Until we stop harming all other living beings, we are still savages. 5% of the people think, 10% of the people think they think, and the other 85% would rather die than think. To invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Negative results are just what I want. They're just as valuable to me as positive results. I can never find the thing that does the job best until I find the ones that don't. There are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. Opportunity is often missed because it comes dressed in overalls and looks like work. The doctor of the future will give no medication, but will interest his patients in the care of the human frame, diet, and in the cause and prevention of disease. Tilda Just because something doesn't do what you planned it to do doesn't mean it's useless. I have friends in overalls whose friendship I would not swap for the favor of the kings of the world. Restlessness is discontent, and discontent is the first necessity of progress. Show me a thoroughly satisfied man, and I will show you a failure. Everything comes to him who hustles while he waits. Unfortunately, there seems to be far more opportunity out there than ability. We should remember that good fortune often happens when opportunity meets with preparation. I find out what the world needs, then I go ahead and try to invent it. There's a way to do it better. Find it. To do much clear thinking, a person must arrange for regular periods of solitude when they can concentrate and indulge the imagination without distraction. I never did anything worth doing by accident, nor did any of my inventions come by accident. They came by work. The first requisite for success is the ability to apply your physical and mental energies to one problem incessantly without growing weary. I am proud of the fact that I never invented weapons to kill. Nearly every person who develops an idea works at it up to the point where it looks impossible and then gets discouraged. That's not the place to become discouraged. We will make electricity so cheap that only the rich will burn candles. All Bibles are man-made. There is no expedient to which a man will not go to avoid the real labor of thinking. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Nature is truly wonderful. Only man is truly foul. A good intention with a bad approach often leads to a poor result. I am not discouraged because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward. 
It is astonishing what an effort it seems to be for many people to put their brains definitely and systematically to work. So far as the religion of the day is concerned, it is a damned fake. Religion is all bunk. I have never failed. I've only shown the way I did it before doesn't work. The chief function of the body is to carry the brain around. There is no substitute for hard work. Thomas Edison was an inventor, scientist, and businessman who lived during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He is best known for his inventions, including the light bulb, the phonograph, and the motion picture camera. Edison is considered one of the most important inventors in history, and he received over 1,000 patents during his lifetime. His inventions greatly impacted society, revolutionizing the way we live and work. Edison was also a successful businessman, founding General Electric, one of the largest companies in the world.